So this is my book, Conspiracy. And on the one hand, it's a super dark story, right? It's a billionaire plotting to destroy a media outlet, which he does. But I think as I read, you know, tens of thousands of legal pages, I couldn't help but laugh uh, how fucking absurd the whole thing was. The whole reason that Peter Thiel was in a position to destroy Gawker is because a Florida DJ named Bubba the Love Sponge let Hulk Hogan sleep with his wife. Meanwhile, he was secretly filming it on a security system that he'd set up in his bedroom, that he'd had a handyman set up in his bedroom. And then the only reason that this tape got out is because a rival DJ who was trying to steal Bubba the Love Sponge's spot stole the tape and then leaked it to Gawker, hoping to extort Hulk Hogan for a few thousand dollars and embarrass his rival. And that throws into motion this insane series of events, which culminates in a hundred plus million dollar verdict in a Florida courtroom that destroys Gawker. It wipes it from the face of the earth. And none of this would have happened if two shock jocks in Florida, one of whom was a, literally a cuck, had, had not found themselves in a petty squabble. And so, you know, Cicero's line is that the beginning of things are small. I mean, this is just an insane story from a ridiculously small series of events that ended up quite literally changing the world itself. Even now, having written about it, having spent all these years studying it, I can barely wrap my head around how preposterous that is. Conspiracy is now available in paperback everywhere books are sold.